guys, it's me, it's you, Brubble. And I don't know. I need to make a video. And so I'm going to just post this, just another little vlog. And I'm going to talk about crushes. Ah, yes. The wonderful world of liking someone and maybe them liking you back. <laughs> and hold the phone. I'm going to get my little light because terrible quality Whoop. okay that was a weird noise Whoop. oh that is a lot better you can see every movement anyways so <laughs> f funny story it's a little old say here right here um okay so let me just I'm gonna go through my crushes this year cuz I've actually had a lot lately, and that's really weird. Okay, so, <laughs> when you can't speak. So I'm not going to give them names, should I? I don't know. So my first crush that I had was at the beginning of the school year, and that was Andrew Stever. I just said his name. Whoops, I guess we are staying names. So my first crush was Andrew, and then... We actually did get together, and I didn't like the relationship, so I broke up with him. Simple as that. Anyways, actual crushes. So I had a crush named Eric, and holy crap, he was the cutest thing ever. <coughs> and of course, being the little shy me, I never... <sighs> Long story short, I... He, he moved. He moved to California, and I still liked him, and I found out he liked me back. And so we've been talking and talking, and then he never responded. And so I don't know if he's okay or not, and I don't want to bombard him with text because I don't want to feel like I'm pushy. And be like, hey, 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 you should respond to me because I want you to love me. <laughs> if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, I'm super sorry. Okay, second crush. Um, My second crush, his name is Jay. Oh yeah, by the way, Eric was a freshman, so we're freshmen together, yo. Anyway, so my second crush, his name is Jay. And I don't know, Jay, if you're watching this, please don't, please don't make me feel weird at school because of this video. Um, okay, so, at the beginning of, what was it? My, material science, there you go. So, material science, oh, I'm, yeah, I have a bunch of these. My stepdad gave this to me. And, yeah, anyways, so, my, um, blah, 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 talking about, so, fourth period material science, I'm one of the only freshmen in that class, and surprisingly, I'm doing really well, anyway, so I walk in, and I see a bunch of people, and the first day, I get sat next to him, and, of course, we make conversation, hey, hi, you know, and it's kind of that thing, and then we move, and blah, 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 so every day, like, recently, this was, like, a few months ago, every day I would walk in, because he, because my friend Jax um, said out loud to the world about my YouTube channel. And that's how a lot of people have been recently finding it. And I've been more open about it because I haven't been wanting to tell people because this is, like, personal. It's like, yeah. Anyway, so then I recently started telling about it. And he, I, every day, I would walk in the class. And he would be like, what's up, YouTube rebel? And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, like, mm -hmm. And of course, this is when I started developing feelings because we were t talking more and more recently. And, yeah. <laughs> and then, when I actually figured out I had a crush on him, that's when Eric moved away and I was super sad about that. And I'm like, maybe, maybe, just maybe. So, a few more months went on and we've been talking every day. And then, um, he just stopped saying hi to me. And the weird thing is, is like, okay... I drew a picture about this. Me and my friend Krissa were sitting in class and we're watching this stupid presentation. And I look over and he looked at me and we made eye contact. And my heart was like, <laughs> you know, when you get that feeling where it's like, duh, 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 and like you can hear your heartbeat and you're like, blah, 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 the butterflies, butterflies, uh, death, 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 you know? Yeah, that's how I felt. I felt major anxiety. I'm like, it's the end of the world. So basically, I've been glancing at him. Without him knowing, I think. Am I that? I don't know. And I feel like he's been glancing at me? Question mark. 
don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> and the thing is, it's... So, we've been doing that, and then I found his Facebook. Yes, I'm a complete stalker. Just kidding. No. I just wanted to see him, like, hey, that's actually a good idea. Maybe we can talk more. So, I found his Facebook and messaged him. Hey, few weeks go by, like, recent, this is also recent. So, a few weeks go by, and around today, at lunch, with my friends, I'm like, should I, should I, yes or no? <laughs> friends look at me. What are you talking about? Yes or no? What do you mean, yes or no? One or two, do or don't, pick one. So they picked do, and so I sent him a message telling him how I felt. <laughs> and basically it said something like, Hey Jay, it's Saya. Probably not the person you wanted to see in your inbox because there are much prettier girls than me out there in our school. But, um, no. And I just told him how I felt. I'm like, hey, I may have a teeny, tiny little crush on you. But it's no big deal. It's no big deal. Don't worry about it. And he hasn't seen it. He even he hasn't even seen the hey. But I know he goes on to Facebook because he friended me. So I am waiting for him to respond or even look at it. Which I kind of don't want him to because it's like, if he does, then he's like going to know how I feel. And maybe he watches my videos. I don't know. Hey, Jay, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Not to mention he's a senior. Why? Why? <laughs> it's like all the freshmen are dicks and then the ones that are nice, it's like I'm not even interested in and I just want to be friends. And then it's like the one guy I like. Like, this is what's happening right now. All these guys have a crush on me besides the ones I want to like me. And that's the thing. What is my problem? Why do... <laughs> I don't even know why guys like me. I guess I'm cute, but I don't think... Hey, what is in my face that people like? I mean, literally, I woke up with bedhead. Well, it was like this. I'm not the fanciest girl out there. There are so many prettier, nicer girls than me. Why go after the shaved head pierced this one ripped i don't want this one to rip so i put a little metal ring in it <gasps> oh it came out hey that's an issue so anyways uh <laughs> so i'm just kind of waiting for him to respond also one other thing while i am waiting you guys are going to come with me we're going to go grab an earring Oh, yeah. And I'm going to explain what this paper is. You are on a sink. Don't mind that. Okay. So, Carissa, my friend who I was talking about, has, um, I cannot find a little earring. That one works. Come here. No, don't fall in the sink! Okay, I got it. I got it. We're good. So, my friend Carissa has... Um, recommended me to join choir. And this was a while ago. Okay, just go through. And so basically I said, sure, I'll I'll try to see if I want to or whatever. I'll see. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. You know what? You only live once. You've got to try and live life to the fullest. So, I tell her I want, I forgot the paper. So I'll tell her, yeah, sure, I'll try. And so I tell my friend Rose, who's in choir, I'm like, hey, I think I made you in choir. Turns out you have to audition. And my third period teacher gave me this. Let me read it to you. <clears throat> Dear Saya, if you are receiving this correspondence, you have been nominated to join the Moses Lake High School Choir Program for 2018-19 school year. Your selection was based on your friend's beliefs that you can make a positive contribution to our assemblies. Whether you have performed in a um, choral, choral group in the past or not, I would like to formally invite you to consider being a part of our team. The award-winning MLHS choir, Choral Department consistently receives superior ratings at the festival and have been invited to perform all over the Northwest, California, New York, and Hawaii in 2019. For chamber choir. There are currently five choirs to choose from, all of which 
are long court year-long courses but some have different requirements to join these assemblies are broken into two categories audition jazz and choir jazz chamber and selects women's choir for students 10 and 12 and non-audition men and women's choir for grades 9 through 12 to be a part of this non-audition choir you would have to register but if you do not but if you would like an opportunity to be in the one of the three audition choirs you need to act now. Start by enrolling in da 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 da. This is the rest. And the people who recommended me Carissa, Samantha, and Cody. Thanks, friends. Thanks. So I have chosen a song. It is um, Melanie Martinez's version of Toxic by Britney Spears. And I think that one will go great, but you only have to sing one verse and the chorus. So. I'm going to, um, I kind of wanted to see what you guys thought of my singing because I've heard in the past that I'm good and I have done singing things on my channel. I have made original songs, I have done all this stuff, but I've never actually been in a choir group. So I want to get your guys' opinion on what I sing like and whoop. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I got it. I had to think of the first verse and the chorus, so. <clears throat> Baby, can't you see I'm calling? A guy like you should wear a warning. You're dangerous and I'm falling. And then it goes, Taste of your lips, I'm on a ride. You're toxic, I'm slipping under with the taste of your poison. Paradise, I'm addicted to you. Don't you know that you're toxic? Whoops. Man, I love what you do. Don't you know that you're toxic? Yep, that's literally all I have to sing to audition. And then they're going to go through the keys, which is like they play a note on the piano, and then you have to match pitch. So it's like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, something like that, you know? That's probably not the notes, so don't criticize me on that. And then they're going to ask me to sing part of a song, which I probably don't know, but that's okay. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed whatever this was. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!